Yeah, but the thing about indifference is that it's always a choice that we make, you see. So that uh, uh, if you choose to have an iciness of soul and a hardening of heart and a coarsening of conscience, that leads toward indifference. That's why at the end of Dante's Inferno, it's the iciness of Satan. You remember? Mm -hmm. The coldness. That's a choice. No matter what structures of domination are in place, we can still choose to care. Choose to care. Sorge, that fundamental category that the Germans talked about. The, so the care. And uh, the blues man and the blues woman don't believe in optimism or pessimism. I've been down so long that down don't worry me no more. That's why I keep keeping on. The blues man and the blues woman are never indifferent. They're full of passion. They're full of caring about something. It could be last night, tomorrow night. could be the society, whatever. You've got to su sustain some kind of passion. And therefore, the great blues men and women from Toni Morrison to white ones like Tennessee Williams to Bruce Springsteen on the vanilla side, of town along with Bob Dylan or on the chocolate side of town, you know, it could be Leroy Carr or Curtis Mayfield or Aretha Franklin. They are prisoners of hope. They're neither optimists nor pessimists. They are prisoners of hope because they care. As long as you care and there's one little precious child out there with sparkling eyes, you've got to do something and if you don't, the rocks are going to cry out. That's why Coltrane kept blowing his horn, my brother. Because if he didn't blow his horn, the rocks were going to cry out. That genius cared. Mm -hmm.